Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here, Weather in 5, 5 days and 5 minutes. And tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast, we've got mostly quiet weather. You know, the satellite may not look that way, uh, but we have mostly quiet weather through the work week. But we will have some issues to deal with over the weekend. We're going to talk about the long range and much more. That's tonight at 7.35 p.m., the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast. Now, as we uh, kick off this Monday and we take a look at what's happening, as we said, the satellite does look uh, a bit busy, but I guess it's overstated from the standpoint of what uh, is uh, falling as far as precipitation is concerned, uh, because there isn't a whole lot uh, going on in the east in spite of all those clouds. And you can see on the radar uh, where we've got uh, snow up in uh, Maine, uh, and that shouldn't be a shock to anybody, and also just north of the border with Canada, uh, of New York and Vermont, New Hampshire, some scattered uh, rain and snow showers, uh, popcorn type around across southern New York and into the upper Hudson Valley. Uh, we do have uh, a little disturbance with some rain showers down through parts of Kentucky and into West Virginia that's moving eastward. But as far as widespread rain, we really have to go up to the Pacific Northwest. We have uh, a ton of of rain that is coming in there and uh, that is uh, going to be an issue as moisture and energy comes in uh, across the pacific and moves on up into the pacific northwest but again here in the east well, we're kind of in a in between place with these uh, clouds of the subtropical jet to the south and uh, clouds that are up into the inland areas in the northeast and northern mid-atlantic states and back over uh into the great lakes no uh, precipitation or not much precipitation to speak of over the next five days so this carry us carries us through friday with uh, an upper trough swinging through uh later tuesday night into wednesday you can see that the model generates a couple of hundredths as far as precipitation is concerned, uh, higher amounts up in Maine and New Hampshire as today's uh, rainfall area plays through. Going to give this a quick refresh just to see what we got. And in fact, uh, they've even taken the couple of hundredths out now. No precip for much of southern New England down to the Delmarva Peninsula and just a few hundredths from Maine uh, down into North Carolina. Heavier precip, uh, half to three quarters of an inch or more in the uh, Mississippi Valley on up into the lower lakes and you can see several to many inches of rain from northern California coastal northern California on up into the Pacific Northwest so it's really about just uh, dealing with sort of up and down temperatures nothing especially cold nothing especially warm uh, in the short range uh, we do have uh, again a little bit of an upper trough uh, moving through and there's also a system you see a weak system there in Illinois and Indiana that suddenly pops up off North Carolina uh, with a little bit of rain and snow uh, later Tuesday in parts of Ohio down into West Virginia uh, that low is just going to skedaddle its way on out to the northeast might be a little snow in the central Appalachians come Wednesday into Wednesday uh, afternoon uh, and evening as uh, that low starts to pull away and it does bring down colder air so Wednesday and Thursday look like the two cold days this week uh, with temperatures probably for highs in the upper 30s to low 40s we're into the low 50s today we'll be in the 40s on Tuesday let's I would say each day will probably be anywhere from partly sunny to mostly cloudy until we get to Thursday and high pressure starts to nose in and we'll probably have more in the way of sunshine on Thursday. There's a bit of a warm front to the north there. You see the light snow up in western New York that plays on through. And then we'll start to warm up on Friday when we, I think we should be bouncing up uh, perhaps into the 50s uh, or certainly upper 40s to around 50. And then into the 50s on Saturday. Low pressure comes from the west with all that energy. Low pressure eventually comes out of the southern plains and runs up uh, to the Great Lakes as a deepening low. Uh, it's going to set up a rather strong southerly flow over the weekend. I think we could see upper 50s to low 60s for both Saturday and Sunday. And then that cold front will produce rain here uh, come Sunday. Uh, and then it moves on through. And then that's followed by a, a cold shot of air for the start of next week. And possibly an even colder shot of air coming in for later next week. But if you're a snow lover looking for any kind of widespread snowfall, nothing in the cards at the moment uh, for the next uh, week to 10 days. 
So we'll, of course, pick all this up, uh, discussing it in such incredible detail tonight that you will be astonished. And that will be on tonight's Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time.